Alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man wala Amma ba'du Then we are on the <coughs> We're on the 11th set of Nasatat ta'limiyah Educational activities From the book Al-Qira'atul Rashida and as always, we recommend you to read the selection first and make sure that you understand it before answering the questions. If you have any issues with your understanding, then refer back to your dictionary and try to figure out some of the words. And if it's more than that, then you refer back to the video that we did concerning this reading. This reading is called a sa'a, which I believe we translated as time. And we said a sa'a can mean time, or it can mean watch, or it can mean the hour, or it can mean clock. If we look at the questions here, then it's probably, re probably related to the watch more than anything else. And we'll see here. But it could be all of them. The time, the hour, the watch, a sa'a. I think we might have even left it as a sa'a, now that I remember. I think we left it as a sa'a. Just due to the numerous possibilities and all of them being addressed inside the reading. Here these questions are related to a sa'a being translated as the watch. So al asila the questions, the plural of su'al. Udkur tharathata aksamin tata'allafa minha asa'a. Udkur mention tharathata aksam, three divisions, or here three parts. Tata'allaf minha asa'a, which The watch is made up of. Mention three parts. Tata alif. To be from alif, lam, fa. But here this is form five. Meaning to be composed of. Minha asa. Name three parts that a watch is made up of. I'm going to not give you the answer. But I'm going to give you a help. Inshallah ta'ala. If you search. Ajza. Sa'ata yad or ajza a sa'a. Ajza is the plural of juz, like juz of the Quran. Part. Ajza a sa'a, parts of the watch. Then you will find pictures, images, and articles that will help you figure out the parts of the watch. Asu'al al-thani, the second question. Ma fawa'id asa'a. What are the benefits of a watch? Asu'al al-thalith. And again, these benefits, and you can make up your own, but they can mostly be extracted from the text. Asu'al al-thalith, the third question. كيف يعرف المسلم أوقات الصلوات والجماعات؟ How does the Muslim know? كيف how يعرف المسلم? How does the Muslim know أوقات the plural of وقت أوقات الصلوات the times of the prayers والجماعات and the congregations. How does he know that? Asu'al al-Rabi' Alama Which is a contraction of Ala Plus Ma It becomes Alama Yadullu Upon what And this will help you This question will help you with the First question 
The question itself will help you answer the first question. Yadulu al Akrab al Kabir. Al Akrab al Kabir. We have a watch. Right? We have a one that's Kabir and one that is Sagir. Aqrab al Kabir is this the big one, the big hand in English, right? Al Mawjud fi Alama, what does the big hand? Yadullu. Here, guide or point to. Here, meaning mean. What does it mean? What does the big hand mean? That's mawjud, that, that exists or is present in the watch. What does it mean? What does the big hand on the watch mean? Aswal al khamis. Da unwan and akhar munasiban munasiban linnas. Give us another da place or put unwan in. A title. Give another ta akhar, another title munasiban linnas. Munasiban linnas. That is sufficient or appropriate, not sufficient, but appropriate for the text. Give this reading another title. The second set of activities. Ihdal abaratain ataliyatain sahiha wal uh wal uhra khata Ashiru bikalimat sah right mean correct Lil Ibara Asahiha One of the Ibarat Ibara means a phrase or a wording Italia tain, Italia or Itali meaning following Italia because Ibarra is feminine, Italia tain because it is dual. One of the two following Ibarra phrases Sahiha is correct. Well Ukhra Khata and the other is a mistake. Ukhra is the feminine of Akhar. Ashirru meaning point. Bi kalimat sah. With the word sah, lil ibara sahiha. Point with the word sah to the correct one. So basically, write sah in front of it or behind it or whatever. Right? Don't know if that's the correct one. Let's read. Bisa'a ya'rifu tilmidhu mi'ad al madrasa. With a watch, the student knows, the pupil knows, the Appointed times of the school, right? Is it sah am khata? You can also write khata for the other sentence. And we, as always, suggest you to write these out to find a person and go over them back and forth with each other. One person asks, the other one answer, and then the one who asked, he answers in the next round. The second question. Or the second Ibarra. Is it correct or not? Asa'a ghariya al-thamin. Or ghariya to thamin. La yastati'u ahadun an yashtariha. Asa'a to ghariya to thamin. The watch which is. Has an expensive price. La yastati'u ahadun. No one is able. An yashtariha. No one is able to buy it. Is this sah am khata? If it's khata, write khata. If it's sah, write sah. Write the whole phrase out. Practice using these. And just like we waited until we finished all 31 readings to do these exercises so that you could gain a mastery and then you could go back over it with these exercises, the same way when you finish these exercises, when you get to 31, and you don't have to wait till then, you could start now. Go back to exercise 1 again and see if you can answer the questions any better. See if you can remember the vocabulary. Don't just do it once and move to ex lesson 2, then do those, lesson 3 and do those, and then forget. No, go back again and see are you able to answer them better than you were able to do the first time. 
with more complete answers, with more advanced words, and more advanced vocabulary. Inshallah, we'll see you in the next set of lessons. L lesson or reading number 12. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika ashadu wa la ilaha ila anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.